I'm your television teacher, and this is lesson number seven. And today, can you guess what we'll be drawing? Yes, it's right on the screen. Can you see it? We're going to be drawing shape and line. But now the question is, what kind of shapes will we be drawing and what kind of lines? Now what I would like to show you before we get started is the kind of shapes that we'll be working with. And those are going to be simple shapes. Could we have a close-up when we work on this board over here? Okay. Now the first kind of simple shape I want you to think about is going to be a square. Yes, you see them every day. They're all around. If you look closely around the room, a square. And then there's a rectangle, which is, it's like a square. It has four sides, but it's just a little bit longer. Then we have a circle and a triangle. Okay, now I'd like to show you that drawing I was drawing again so that you can see where there are circles and triangles. Okay, do you see that circle right there? That's the eye of the television camera. That's right, it's looking out there at you right now. And circle, and the camera, well that's in the shape of a square. Now do you see any triangles? Mm-hmm, right down here in the tripod. That's part of the triangle, right there. Okay, now I'd like to have you take a look at a square that I have here. Can you see that square? Now let me turn it this way because it's important how this goes. Now, what about that square? What's it missing? What is that square? Can you tell? Well, it just looks like a square, doesn't it? Now, if I add some detail to that square right here, then I think you'll be able to see that that square is uh, it's part of a door, isn't it? Uh-huh. See, do you see other squares in there and other triangles? No triangles, are there? Just rectangles and squares. Now, if I change that square, how can I change it? Can you think? How would I change that square? By adding other lines, wouldn't I? I could add other lines, make that square into a window. Can you see that there? Let me move it a little bit so you can see where that square is. See that square? It fits right in there, doesn't it? It's part of a window right there. Okay, now what, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be drawing shapes, simple shapes, like the square and the rectangle and the circle. We're going to be drawing them in the classroom. What I want you to do is, could you come in a little closer on that? What I want you to do is to look around the room and find shapes like the doorway, maybe the blackboard, perhaps a chair or a window, maybe even the flag that have very simple shapes like the square, the rectangle, and the circle. And, I want, and the triangle, don't want to forget the triangle, and I want you to draw those in just single line with a pencil. Now your teacher has the pencil and the paper, which you'll receive in the classroom, and you find a spot in the room that has the simple shapes, and draw the simple shapes first, and then try drawing the other lines. The other lines are called detail, detail is, let me show you, I'll show you a chair. This chair has some detail in it, right here. Can you see this? Okay, let's look at that. Now the back of this chair right here is sort of in a, a rectangle with the rounded corners and these long thin supports that hold up the back, well those are very thin rectangles. And if you look very closely, now this might be kind of hard, but you look very closely you can see that there are rivets that hold this chair together. A rivet here, and there's one up here, and what shape are those rivets? 
that's right, they're circles. Those rivets are circles. So if you draw the rectangles as the simple shapes, like the back and the sides here, and then you add the detail, like the rivets I just showed you, and then down at the bottom, if you look closely, the bottom has legs that have feet that are in the shape of a circle right here, the shape of a circle. Now that's the detail, that's the small parts of the large, larger piece. The chair is the largest and in the small details like the rivets and the chairs, you'll add later. Okay. <clears throat> now before you get started, why don't I show you the simple shapes again so you're sure what they are and then you can go ahead and get started on your own drawing with simple shapes and the detail. Okay, let's take a look at these simple shapes again. <clears throat> Square has four equal sides. All sides are the same in length. Now the rectangle is almost the same, but it's a little bit longer. Now you can have rectangles that are even thinner, like this. Okay, that's still a rectangle. Still a rectangle, it's just a different shape rectangle. A different size, too. And you have the circle, and you have all different kinds of circles in terms of size, large and small, and you have a triangle, too. Okay, now you're gonna look around the room, you might even look now, and look and see where do you see simple shapes, like the rectangle, the square, the circle, and the triangle. Now you can take those shapes, put them down very simply, and then add the detail. Now you do a careful job and look closely. It's important to look very closely because you have to find those simple shapes, okay? Now I would like to see those, so you do a real good job. Draw very darkly on the paper so that it's not difficult to see. Press hard with your pencil, and then I'll see those drawings and See you next time, maybe. Okay? Work hard now. Bye.